ready to come down the hallway now and go into this bathroom so you can see right here where I need to go out and then in and around that door jam. Okay, so there is no right or wrong answer to which direction you install the plank into a bathroom. Now in this particular video, I'm showing you the bathroom that we're installing. We're actually flowing the plank throughout the entire house, coming into the bathroom now from the hallway, and the plank is gonna be running parallel to the tub. Now if you have a situation where your plank is gonna run perpendicular to it, or maybe that's how you wanna install your plank if you're doing a standalone bathroom, I'm gonna share a couple tips with you right now on how you can achieve this and get a really nice looking joint all the way along the side of the tub to be able to caulk it at the end. So every, every plank has a locking system. We have the groove and we have the tongue. You always wanna to try to work away from the groove. And this is where my groove actually is, so I would work away from it. I actually should be starting down here working towards the tub. I always like to work away from the tub so you can maintain your cut. So no matter which way the locking system is going, always start at the tub. Get your eighth inch gap so it's nice and pretty the whole way, and then finish your other cuts this way. In a previous video that I just released last week, I shared with you how to prep a bathroom for, for a vinyl plank installation. I went through a lot of tips that, well, questions that I get all the time about are from DIYers just like you, where people ask questions and wonder what they need to do. So I went through a lot of different things in here. You can see here, I'm showing you how to prep the bathroom using a, a patch that you can buy. I tell you where to buy it, what I use, um, share with you how to spread that out. And I also talk about going around door jams where we cut away some sheetrock there to really help with the plank. I also talk to you about if your floor is higher in the bathroom, what you need to do to demo that floor out and to get rid of the million staples that are underneath it. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link right in the right hand corner of this video right now and you can click on that, go check it out and come on back. I'm gonna snap a line through here. I wanna get it to over here so that when I come around with the plank, my line doesn't get covered up right away. So I'm gonna measure out and it's just a certain amount. It doesn't need to be anything special. You can pick any number you want. I'm just gonna go with 27 inches. So you just want to sink a screw right in the middle of that mark that I made. Now I'm going to take this string line that I have and it has no chalk on it. I'm using this so it doesn't leave any chalk on the floor. I tied a loop in the end of it. I'm going to hook it onto that screw. Pull it really tight and I'm going to get it over that mark that I made in the floor. See the mark there? make a mark underneath the string line. So I'm gonna slide the string line over a little, make a mark with my marker. You can see how it landed back on there. So it's on there and it's on down there. You can see. Just hook it right on there. Make sure it's still on. There we go, I'm gonna snap it. Now I'm going to take a couple of scraps and I'm going to hook them onto this floor. Now the most important thing here is that we don't want to line up the plank that we're going to put right here now with this butt joint. I'm just going to use a full piece. Now I'm going to hook onto these scraps. I'm leaving my expansion joint. So I need to cut a little bit of this off to make it all the way. Now, um, a quick way to do this is you can see the locking system are both going the same way. That's how this would go in. If I turn this, reverse it like that, slide that every, all the way where it needs to go, and now you see the locking system right there. If I make a mark right where that locking system ends and cut that piece right there, that is going to leave me my perfect expansion joint. Now I want to come down here where this floor is hooked on to the main part of the floor that we already did and measure to the chalk line to see what that amount is. So now I want to go down and make sure that this floor where it moves is always going to stay at 9 inches. So I just need to move it accordingly back and forth whichever way it needs to go. 
working away from a jam is a lot easier than working into a jam. So I always try not to have a joint anywhere in the doorway until I get to the end so I can actually end up having to joint something like that right here at the end to make it easy to get these pieces in. So now I'll just slide my cheater board under, I'll make some marks. It gets a little difficult around these areas because it's hard to slide it under, but if you just make a couple of marks then you can just connect the dots after, right? So then I'm going to start going down this wall. I'm coming in about a quarter inch and I'm going to make that mark right there because I know that that is going to go under the jam then. So you see how that looks? That's cutting out around the jam now. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to come down to the corner. I'm actually going to bring this out a little bit. I can see it. that's kind of at an angle. So I'm going to show you another thing here that you can do. So I know at the corner right there is right there. Now if I come up here and I get it butt tight there and maybe bring it over a little bit so I have the gap. I'll make another mark right here. Now I can use this board as a guide and I know that now I have the angle to that. And now I'll just keep going down the bathtub with my cheater board. Now I am only leaving an eighth inch gap. I still need to mark this side of the jam. So let's do that real quick. So if I have my cheater board lined up, I'm bringing it this way on the side of the jam there so I have that quarter inch. I'm just going to make a mark right here. And now I'm going to square up my cheater board with this to be able to make a nice straight line. So now you can see how that all is marked. Alright, so I went outside, we cut this, and I'm going to take these pieces out. I'm working backwards in this hall right now. Meaning that I'm putting the, here's the tongue right here, so I'm putting the groove into the tongue instead of the other way around. So it makes it a little more challenging, but not too bad. But, just gonna get this piece in place. I have a pretty big gap there. I think I wanna go that way a smidge. All right, so I'm gonna slide this one that way just a smidge. I'm actually not going to put this piece in yet. I'm going to take this piece and put it off to the side until later. Okay, so now I'm going to reverse it again so the locking systems are reversed. Here's the tongue, here's the groove. Slide this all the way to the wall. Make my mark. For me, this is a little more difficult because I have a radiator here. I'm just going to cut a scrap and I'm going to do a few different pieces. So I'm going to come right here, hook on right here, right where this comes together. I'm going to put one on the seam. And then another one down here on the end. Now before I screw this down, I'm going to get it all straight with this line. Okay, so I'm coming up here now where it's attached to all the floor and I'm going to measure to see. And we're at 9 inches and I'm just going to make sure all this floor is at 9 inches now. And this piece right here is going to be super easy to put in at the end. <laughs> Alright, now you can see this ain't going anywhere. Now I'm sure some of you are thinking, okay, that's great, Joe. You're on a wood subfloor. You can use screws. I'm on concrete. What should I do? Well, you can get these glue sticks, and I'll leave a link. Now, this isn't a glue stick that you would get from Menards or Home Depot or Walmart or craft stores. This is a special kind of glue that is meant to stick to concrete. Now, it, it has more working time and it's going to grab more. Now, if you have a vinyl plank that the backing, the pad, attached pad comes off easy, just take that off. But now I have my measurement for this 
and so I'm gonna get this pretty much ready to get in place. So you wanna take the glue gun and give yourself like a Hershey kiss. Make it like a Hershey kiss. Now you just take it, you lock in your scrap piece like normal and set it right down into that glue. And make sure your measurements are good and then just wait. It takes about five minutes for this glue to get hard, okay? Before you wanna start working off of it. And I can't put another plank in without it hitting the jam, so that means it's the one that needs to be cut. So I made sure I put that joint right in the door like I was telling you. Now I'm gonna line this plank up so the locking system is lined up all the way so we know it's straight. I got it lined up right there. I'm gonna make my mark, come down. So now I'll just go and notch out these two real quick. Get it in place. Now it's under the jam, I can't lift up at an angle to get it in there. So I'm gonna take a scrap piece, put it on here. And then I might get that in, but I'm gonna make sure that these joints are flush with another so that it doesn't damage anything. Okay, so I got that all together. Trying to get it up on top of the locking system to get it started. Good? Yep. So I got a situation here where if I put this plank on top here to cut the, in this piece right here, I have to keep it on the door jam so I'll be a little shy there. My concern is, is if I don't have that right down there, then I won't get this right down here. So what I can do is I can line this up with this plank right here in this row. Now to make sure that that was perfectly straight, with, I can just hook on a piece right here and get it straight with the locking system there and do the same thing down here. Now I know it's straight. I'm in a little bit from there. So I'm, I'm happy with this. So now I'm just gonna take my cheater board and I'm gonna hook it right onto this piece right here. And now I'm gonna start marking this. All the way down. So now I can line up these two locking systems perfectly. Slide this to the corner. Past, you see how I'm a little past there? That's gonna give me my expansion joint that I need. Now I can just draw this. And that's what I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna have to bang it that way. And now I'll hit it that way with this big tapping block. Clear. Uh, a few more. Flange. Now I just marked my cut from here to here. I'm doing it one full piece. Now what I want to do is I still have my bolts in here, so I got to stab through these. Now I'm just going to take my tuck knife here that I have. This tool that I use. And I'm just rubbing around so that when I flip this over, you're going to see there's a perfect circle there. Or a little bit small, so I'm going to cut a little more out. Okay, so there's a little about a quarter inch, maybe a little more. That's fine. That's how we're going to leave it. I'm going to take my cheater board and I'm going to start marking where this would end. I'm just squaring it up with the plank under here. I have this plank right here, even with the joint. Now I'm going to make a mark right here where that ends. Come over to this side, do the same thing. And now I'm going to mark where that would end. Now I can just draw this with my marker. So now I'm going to draw this pipe here and I'm going to get that marked out on this plank too. And now I can get my mark in there. Or now I'm just gonna transfer the rest of this toilet flange onto that piece now. So darken it up.
Okay, so I pulled the straps out that we were holding this in place with, and now I'm ready to put in this piece that we cut earlier. All right. Let me get my dry bar limit down here so I can get that part locked in. I'm gonna try to do this by myself and just hit it. There we go. Did a nice little tap, got in there. I'm gonna pull this out. And all that is locking in nicely. All right, so I don't have much of a gap there. You can see it's just a little, it's a little less than an eighth inch. You can see the, which is fine because I put a good um, expansion gap over here. So if we're a little close here, that's fine. We want to caulk this and make this look nice. Okay, denatured alcohol is what I like to use to clean the marker off the floor that I had. And then I went along the tub and I cleaned off any marker that I might have had there and just cleaned it up with some denatured alcohol. Start putting this tape out along, just nice and slow, right along the edge of this tub. I'll even cut it, make smaller pieces just to make it a little easier. Follow along where I made my cut. Just take your time with this blue tape. Make sure you get a nice consistent looking joint all the way down. Now I like to use Alex Plus. This is a acrylic latex caulk, plus it has silicone in it so it has flexibility. I like to use this because it's easy to work with. It's not as sticky as silicone and around tub areas you know how dirty these can get. I work the caulk in real good and there's times where I even add more. Just be sure that you get a good amount of caulk in here and smooth it out with your finger. You could even use a caulking tool or a sponge. Now you can see how I kind of left a little bit of extra tape at the end there so I could grab this. I overlapped the tape so when I pulled it all would come up together at once and it leaves a nice bead here. So that's how I like to cook a tub. Well, there you go. There's a lot of tips that I shared with you in there. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're looking for some personal coaching, you can check out my website. I'll have a link below, Laminate University. It's for vinyl plank or laminate installations. So go check that down, down there below the video. Hey, I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. If this video helped you at all or any of my other videos, would you hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell if you want to be notified when I release more videos. I have a lot more content coming out, guys, in the very near future here. Be checking. We just got done doing a complete house installation and I have went through every area of the house to be able to help you through your installation. So check out those new videos that are coming out. Hey, I hope God blesses you and your family. I'll be praying for you. I'm Joel Attender. Thanks for watching.